Hello my souls, this is Sari. Welcome to episode 7 of Sky Mist. And I've been working on a fair bit of things since we last left off. I need to make something to eat first. Heavy cream. Egg. Flour. I think I forgot the sugar. There's the sugar. Cheesecake. Now the cheesecake on its own does four. Now all of the cheesecakes will actually give you a, a butt ton of food. There we go. That'll last me a long time. So I'm going to put all this away. Okay, so I apologize for the sound, uh, the sound issues previously as there was something wrong with my config. I'm hoping I fixed it for this episode. Ori Calamore. I have no idea what that is. Iron. I'm going to make something with this iron, but I'm trying to remember what that was. Oh, it's really a sleep clam. You have to. What are we going to make? Hmm. Let's go in the binder. I think it's this one. Put it in. Okay. No, we don't want that. Power generator. The best, the best generator in Ender, uh, the um, RF tools is the Ender Gen generator, but it's very expensive, as you can see. Now, the other thing that I wanted to work on, not that one. Where is it? On that. Not that one either. Ah, oh, here we go. Storage scanner it was one thing I wanted to make. The liquid monitor. I think that's it. Let's have a look at the tanks you can make in this one. Fluid tank. Portable fluid tank can be used to empty or fill. Pressurized filler tank. Backpack tank. A modular system fluid tank. This is what I think I was going to make. I have glass here somewhere. Didn't need more than that, obviously. Where do I put the sand?
having one of those days, I guess, with the crafting recipes. Okay, so it wanted this, 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 and this. And it wanted some glass as well for the tank. Now, the fluid module. Apparently, these fluid tanks may use RF. Have a look. Uh, mm. The automatic crafter is something else I'd like to make as well. We have redstone. Shouldn't be hard to make it. But I want to finish this part first and see what we require to actually complete this part of it. Buckets. I don't have any wood left. I don't think. No, I don't. Okay, just give me a second while I grab some wood. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, and we're back. Alright, so we want to get. This one, I think, because there's two of them. The plus one uses golden enderpearls. We don't have any enderpearls yet, so we'd have to go for this one first. An iron, a bucket, two enderpearl, uh, sorry, two redstone, and an sneak right click. Oh, it monitors. It doesn't actually really do anything as such with the actual pet. I want a crafting table. And I want two redstone torches. Liquid monitor. Craft it to two tier three. Oops. The storage scanner. No, we don't have any interpolers for that yet. Oops. I need four iron. Two gold nuggets. Oops. What else do I need? 
of Lepus. Okay. I need another crafting table. Okay, so I need to grab the nuggets first. The iron. And the lapis. The two crafting tables your machine frame and your two redstone torches and we have a crafting terminal tier 2 oops it's the same thing And the last tier of the crafting relay is yet again the same thing, which is nice. I'll show you what else I worked on because, as I said, for some reason the sound, my mic wasn't working and wouldn't record the commentary. And I'm hoping it's actually working this time. Okay, so the same crafting recipe each time. I don't know if this requires RF. Um, it holds a few recipes. I'm not really sure how to do that. But, um, I wonder there's some kind of crafting that we can link the two together These are your upgrades, so you storage tablet, storage, storage, remote access, storage module, dictionary, filter, security cards, hmm. internal and in output slots for crafting results. By inserting a storage filter, your item, you can prevent unwanted items. A storage filter? So one of these? Okay. Fair enough. We can also use the storage filter in here as well. Um, 
So I need a butt more ton of iron. And I need some way to power you. Um There's so many ways to start. Hmm. Anyway. We know what we want to work on between the next episode and this one is I want to get some more things ready for Pam's harvest craft as I've been breeding them in between episodes and I need to go and get some ender pearls I still haven't found any an item filter you can actually use a better way Because ender pearls are the uh, uh, sorry, endermen are the only ones that drop a um, what's it called? I can't think of the name of it for the life of me at the moment. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it's night time currently. Seriously, I went up to the Slime Island, there wasn't really much up there, um, I'll be right back when it's daytime. Okay, so I managed to kill some more zombie, uh, some more one enderman, I got his head and things. So let's go to the fortress. We haven't actually explored this yet. I want to. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's right up there. Did I actually bring any building blocks? Yes, I did. You. Sulfur cloud. This thing is huge. Or oh, calandrite ore. Digging up is a very bad idea in the nether. <gasps> what are you? A bloodwood tree? Hmm. That's where I came up. I brought some torches with me, but I didn't. Magnesium? Coal? I don't see any end, uh, any, um. I can't remember. Uh, pigment. Nether fortress is huge. Nothing up here. Uh Let's go this way. Did end. Did end.
an imp. Um, he reminds me a little bit of a pig, to be honest. Place for a run. Is there no loot skidoodles in here at all? Nether ward score. Here goes downstairs. Supposedly, in dungeon, just supposed to find loot, but this nether fortress is pretty much empty. Oh, here we go gold and a saddle. More nether ward. Poor Sama, I don't need the golden sword, they can keep that. Flint and steel, I will take the nether ward. End of the line. <sighs> These dimlets are so hard to get. You can't craft them or anything. You're supposed to be able to get them from dungeons. Yet I haven't found anywhere to get them from yet. Yeah, I don't want to fall down there. Uh, let's go this way. Hmm. I think we might have to abandon our search for um, good lootsies inside of this dungeon. I haven't found anything at all, apart from those few chests. Ah, oh, way up. Dead end. That's where I came in. Let's go to the right. That's sulfur cloud though. Oh, you can silk touch it. More gold, iron. More gold and more iron. Keep going this way. Dead end. Hmm. Oh, it's a dead end too. <sighs> this is a two sets of stairs. Oh, hi chest. Uh, nope. Hmm. Okay. We have to come back here with some torches and actually explore this properly. But we've seen the majority of it now. I haven't found any dimlets whatsoever. Did end again. Oh uh, my goodness. Alright. So, I've shown you guys a little bit of my progress since I... Where is it? Since I last recorded an episode. 
This fortress is huge. I never realised how big it was. Um, let's go to the portal. And go back through. And of course it's raining. It's daytime though, so nothing will spawn thankfully. Um, did more weed sprout. If weed sprouted I will be angry. Go away weeds. I hate weeds, they're so annoying. That's the third lot of uh, seeds I've lost because of them. Uh, so there's the stuff to make a nether wart farm. Eventually. Uh, I made some more progress in the other world hunting for saplings. It took me ages to find the majority of them. There's still some missing though. So, alright. So, as I said, I apologise for the quality of the two previous videos. I was able to show you guys a fair bit of the progress that I've made that you weren't able to actually hear anything. But I'll have an episode of this up again probably tomorrow evening, I think. And I'll be processed uh, I'll hopefully have some more ender pearls so we can have a look at that other thing otherwise we're going to have to make a, a visit to the to the end which I don't know if this dim this actually has the end because I haven't found any signs of any fortresses on these islands so far anyway guys thank you for coming and have a nice day